Robert Spencer here for Jihad Watch, a program of the David Horowitz Freedom Center and for the Center for Security Policy, here to discuss with you a strange and little noted phenomenon, the global outbreak of mental illness. Recently, a Muslim screaming, Allahu Akbar, an infidel you must die, stabbed four people, killing one of them, at a train station near Munich. Nevertheless, Bavarian security officials immediately denied that he had what they called an Islamic extremist motive. Then what did cause the attack? Bavaria's state interior minister, Joachim Herman, said that the attacker had mental disorders. There you are. Nothing to do with Islam. Don't go jumping to conclusions that these stabbings had something to do with Islam just because he screamed, Allahu Akbar, an infidel you must die. He was mentally ill. That's all. In fact, we have seen this kind of mental illness before. There here are some headlines and key lines from some recent news articles that all show a global outbreak of mental illness. France, Muslim destroys Christmas decorations, screams Allahu Akbar. From the article, his mental state quickly found wanting required his placement in the specialized hospital alone. France, Muslim driver ramming pedestrians while screaming Allahu Akbar was absolutely not an act of terrorism. And from that article, this is absolutely not an act of terrorism, said prosecutor Marie-Christine Terrar, told reporters during a press conference, adding that the man had a long-lasting and severe psychological disorder and had been hospitalized over 150 times since 2002. Another, UK imam accused of recruiting for jihad group doesn't have to wear electronic tag, it breaches his human rights, and the article explains, a terror suspect last night won a human rights case to have his tag removed because he thinks MI5 has put a bomb inside it. A judge said the dangerous preacher of hate has mental health problems, and wearing the electronic monitoring device was making him delusional. One from California, Muslim arrested in mosque vandalism. And from the article, his older sister describes Khan as having schizophrenia. Muslim NYPD cop killer told passersby to watch. The article says the gunman who fatally ambushed two New York City police officers in their squad car had a long criminal record, a hatred for police and the government, and an apparent history of mental instability that included an attempt to hang himself a year ago, police said Sunday. One from France, Muslim who stabbed rabbi gets four years. Hadouche was deemed unfit to stand trial because of mental issues following a psychiatric evaluation. Toronto, Muslim charged with carrying concealed meat cleaver into Parliament. RCMP Commissioner Bob Paulson told reporters that Ali is known to authorities, but not in the sort of counter-terrorism context. In fact, Paulson does not believe that the man's actions were politically motivated or an act of terror. I understand it is less a concern around so-called national security considerations as it is a mental health issue, he said. There is a history of behaviors that are odd. Austria. Muslim drives car into crowd, killing three, then gets out and stabs passers-by. Police are not currently investigating terrorism as a motive, and the man is believed to be suffering from mental illness. Canada. Police shoot Muslim wearing a parent suicide vest and holding triggering device. In the aftermath of the shooting, police downplayed the incident, saying that only that the call involved an emotionally disturbed person. Muslim bangs on cockpit door, threatens to down plane, wanted to see Allah. After being held back from the cabin door, which could not have been opened anyway, the man, who fellow passengers and said appeared to have mental health issues, was then guarded by staff and the sports stars in business class. Muslima, who beheaded toddler, recently became religious, started wearing hijab. One theory is that the woman is mentally ill and that she may have been exploited by a man or men she knew. Canada. Ottawa shooter's father waged jihad in Libya in 2011. Shooter, not a recent convert, but a longtime Muslim. Michael Zehaf Bibo, the slain 32-year-old suspected killer of a Canadian Forces soldier near Parliament Hill, was a laborer and small-time criminal a man who had had a religious awakening and seems to have become mentally unstable. Canada, Muslim acting in the name of Allah, runs down two soldiers, flips car after chase, charges officers with long knife, and is shot. And the article says, we are at the beginning of an investigation. Several hypotheses are being looked at, said Sergeant Michel Brunet, adding that investigators would study various angles, including mental illness and terrorism. 
Philly cop shooter. I follow Allah. I pledge my allegiance to the Islamic State. That is why I did what I did. From the article, Archer's mother has indicated that he is mentally ill, and Ross said investigators do not know yet if the suspect was indeed radicalized or tied to terrorism. Oklahoma, school evacuated after Middle Eastern woman says she came there to take the kids to heaven. During the news conference, police also said that the woman had been having mental health concerns recently. Chattanooga, jihad murderer viewed al-Laki material online, spoke of Islamic martyrdom as long ago as 2013, as the FBI sent more investigators into the city Monday to explore dozens of possible leads. A picture took shape of a deeply troubled young man who struggled with mental illness and drug abuse. At the same time, he found himself alienated from United States policies in the Arab world, according to the authorities, friends, and the family representative. Colorado. Muslim stabs cop, drops Quran during struggle. At about 2 p.m. Saturday, the suspect's family told law enforcement that they were worried because Clark left his residence in Penrose and said he wasn't going to return. They also said Clark was mentally disturbed, had been working out a great deal during the last two months, and recently had broken up with his girlfriend. New York City Police Commissioner Hatchet attack by convert to Islam was terror, but the article says authorities also are trying to determine if Thompson had any history of mental illness. UK. Muslim admitted sharing jihad videos, rants about enemy of Islam court. Ahmed, who has a history of mental health problems, pleaded guilty to two counts of dissemination of a terrorist publication. France. Muslim screaming Allahu Akbar tries to strangle police officer. Other police officers saw the events on the video surveillance system and rushed to save their colleague who had been thrown to the ground. His assailant was said to have a history of psychiatric problems. Spain, violent Muslim screaming, Allahu Akbar, all you Christians will die, gets arrested. And the article says later he was administered comprehensive tests to ascertain if he was under the influence of drugs or suffered from a mental illness. UK, Muslim gets 20 years for trying to set up jihad training camp in Oregon. Harun Aswat, who has been treated for mental illness in the UK, had pleaded guilty to the charge in March after being extradited from Britain to the US last year. France, knife-wielding Muslim teen screams Allahu Akbar, shoots teacher with BB gun. A psychiatric examination was scheduled for October 13th with the teen, when the teen, when the teen, with the teenager likely to be brought before a judge. Colorado, Muslima pleads guilty to conspiring to aid the Islamic State Moore set sentencing for January 23rd, saying he wanted time for Conley to undergo more complete psychiatric testing. I desire more information on her mental state, he said, asking for both a psychological and personality evaluation. Are you starting to see a pattern? What could account for this global outbreak of mental illness that always manifests itself in similar ways? Authorities should start asking themselves why so very many mentally ill people embrace Islamic Jihad violence. This sort of thing happens so often that the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders should consider adding Islamic Jihad as a mental illness in its next edition. Forget about global warming. What are Barack Obama and John Kerry and the learned counter-terror analysts of North America and Europe doing about this curious epidemic of mental illness? I'm Robert Spencer.